Hey guys, Triforce of Doom here. And Drake Razor Fang. And welcome back to Dungan Ronpa. Last time, we, uh, everyone else did investigations while we were knocked the fuck out. Fun times. Thanks, Mondo. <laughs> but yeah, time to uh, continue the investigations and shit. Oh, wow. I got ice trip, forgot we were next door neighbors. Like, this is just I can't always remember all of the room layouts. Hi, Saika. Uh, why? <laughs> A favor? I can't wait. You could just make that the next text box. Yeah. Ah, self defense. Fair enough. Never hurts to have a backup plan. Mm -hmm. I need to dust off this cabinet TV later. Yeah. Ugh. All right. Makes sense, you want self-defense. I'm actually gonna move that. <laughs> That's probably gonna move the text. How easy is it to read Makoto? Good lord. <laughs> Let me just, uh, go. Oh, that is cut under cords. That would explain a lot. Because that kept falling. Yeah. Oh, oh god. Yeah, okay, we're just gonna... Just, yeah. Yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> On the ground with you. I really need to move this later. That's yeah. fine. Anywho. Like I said, I'm <laughs> Alright. Really so easy to predict. Kinda. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to fast travel! You don't teleport to hallways and marked waypoints. Also, you know, you have to be there at least once. Mm -hmm. Also, tension's a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. I okay, I want to check something now. Hold on. There's just something I need to check. So, Makoto is 5'3". Pretty average yeah. height. All things considered. Yeah. Five foot five. That's, Damn. That seems like more than two inches. Mm-hmm. And perspective's weird. Yeah. One button. So then we can just go a map. The gym. Alright, this just goes by the uh, rooms. I'll say they show you where everyone is conveniently. Mm-hmm. Oh, right. That's how I change areas. And a boom. That'll be later. Mm -hmm. The infirmary is uh, locked. That's very unfortunate. Yeah. So, see anything? Well, there's something I see. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think I ever examined the helmet, actually. Hold on. Oh! <laughs> I'm on a coin! Those will be useful later. Hmm. Hmm. The gold leaf is very shetty. That's how we have a sword decoration. If you want something for self-defense, use like a statue or something. Or trophy. Like the finger? <laughs> I'm yeah. so glad you cut what I did. <laughs> I 
I mean, the only problem with that is Mondo happened earlier. You literally saw me get. To be fair, that's, that's that's like specifically a problem for for when facing Mondo or Saik or Sakura. Mm-hmm. Because those two are kind of built different. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> That's that always sucks. Yeah. It's called vibing. <laughs> yep. Yeah, idols idol work is stressful. Mm-hmm. Uno reverse card. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that bit. About that. <laughs> That's a that's a classic thing with idol stories, and in fact, that's actually the motivation for one of the characters in uh, the uh, Vocaloid game I've been playing. Because mm. like, each group's based around like a different subgenre or of sorts. Like you got your street uh, like rap slash uh, pop type deal, mm -hmm. um, which is my personal favorite group at the moment. Um, you've got a uh, Leo Need, which is your rock band type get, uh, where their story is just you know childhood friends reuniting type deal. Mm -hmm. Uh, you got Night Chord, which is... Holy shit. <laughs> a lot, a lot, lots of, uh, lots of personal problems in that, uh, story for them to deal with. To mm -hmm. say the least. Um, and then you got more, uh, more, more Jump, which is Idol Group. Mm. And one of those members, uh, was actually, like, three of them are, uh, formerly retired idols who end up teaming up after they meet, uh, one, uh, one of their fans who wants it to be an idol because of one of them. Mm. And it just, and she becomes like the heart of the group, essentially. Because all the, all the former idols were going through shit. Mm-hmm. And for those who've never played Colorful Stage, the basic premise is five music groups, uh, end up getting their own little pocket dimensions thanks to the Vocaloids, with the Vocaloids effectively acting as their therapists. <laughs> it's something. <laughs> And yes, the pocket dimensions are called Sakai. For those of you who don't know Japanese, that is literally the word for world. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so they have worlds called worlds. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I spaced out. Oh yeah. Did whatever took to reach that dream, even things that weren't so pleasant. Yeah, it's always unfortunate. Yeah. Also, that's bright. Mm hmm I just noticed a double effect on her hair with the dots. Yeah. The details you see on a PlayStation 4 versus a Vita. Mm -hmm. <laughs> also, the, like, lighter ring on the hair is basically just their way of doing, like, lighting for hair. It's a unique detail thing. Mm-hmm. It's more noticeable in later games, even. <laughs> yeah, remember, the idol world is fucking fickle. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
The mood shift, good lord. <laughs> okay. So yeah, there's some character insight for you. <laughs> and however integration. Sword get. And now for the part where you really get to put in some well uh, uh later actually there is a specific character I want to hang out with for the first ones. But yeah, these are free times. Uh basically just hang out with characters, build up relationship points, and you get shit for it. Okay. Um, speaking of, uh, yeah, that's also if you get more pages in the report card. Mm. But there is a specific character I want to use the first few free times for. Okay. And that'll be Sayaka. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, is she actually in her room? Let's check. That's not what I was looking for. Hop. Does this game not have the list of characters? Okay, she's in her room. I know later games have a, like, here's where everyone is, and you can just scroll by the character. Hmm. Spend some time with her. Sadly, we don't have any presents. <laughs> I don't think. Let me check. Oh god, these aren't even in a grid form like in V3. Crap. Oh, okay. Everyone, uh, the, this is the main way to really affect the relationship values. Everyone has their likes and dislikes and their neutrals. Mm -hmm. It's like, do you want to give her a present? What present do I have? <laughs> oh, well, that's a key item. Can't really give her that. Yeah. I don't have anything, so... So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, the reverse card. But why? But why? What seeketh thee from me? I am super, like, you heard his intro thing, he's super fucking average. I made nobody. What? <laughs> I want to say it was a crane. Yep, I was right. Now, I forget if in the first game they gave you points or not for the correct answers. I know in one of the games it's just multiple choice dialogue options mm -hmm. for fun responses. Ah, so she took most of us when we helped the bird out. Hmm. <laughs> uh, even if Mikado was just doing his job. Mm-hmm. Uh... <laughs> huh? She, she's referencing a Japanese folklore tale here. Hmm. Uh, uh, have you ever heard of the, uh, the tale of the uh, crane wife? No, I don't think I have, but... Okay, it's an old Japanese folklore thing where, um, guy finds Crane, uh, injured in the snow or something like that, 
helps it out, mm -hmm. um, he heads back home uh, to suddenly find a woman there uh, le asking if uh, she could stay with him and she'd like help make him clothes to help make a living. Mm -hmm. um, but he says that, do not look at me while I'm making the clothes. Like, I'll be in my own little clothes off room. And, you know, for a while it's going well, but then she starts seeming sickly and he gets concerned, so he looks and realizes, oh, it was the crane making clothes out of its own, like, feathers and stuff. Mm. But because he looked, that meant it had to leave. Mm. Yeah, it's one of those old Japanese folklores. Yeah. So she's just kind of referencing this as a bit of, as a, just as a little tease jab. Mm. Gotcha. is now updated. And you unlock the skill of Melodious Voice. That's gonna be something you'll be using. Oh boy. Yeah, as you rank up characters, you get skills to use uh, in Trials. They, like, you know, they just buff certain stats or do something extra for you during the minigame parts. Mm. They, they, they get useful. They get useful. <laughs> Okay, basically, we're going to be doing free times uh, for a few times, and then plot will proceed. Mm. And I'm going to say this now. There is not... Right, hold on. Just saying this now. They designed it in a way to where there is not enough free times to max out everyone. Mm. So really just choose based on who you feel like. Okay. There is a post-game mode where you can just get the rest of the free times out of the way, uh, like at your uh, your own volition. Um, I'll leave that up to you if you want to do that on recording or just on your own time or whatever. Yeah. Or if you just feel like looking them up later when we're done. Mm -hmm. The other annoying thing is this, unlike unlike all the later games. Um, they aren't consistent with how many pages everyone has. Hmm. Okay, everyone has different amounts of report card pages in this game. Meanwhile, in the later games, everyone has like five or six each. Like, uh, they're all the same number, I just forget what it is per installment. Gotcha. Ah, time to slip. Yeah, it's a unique type of desperation, that's for sure. Mm-hmm. So, I'm sure you've noticed the killing game has begun, but... There's still room for a little after. It seems our newest students, already so filled with despair, still have some hope of escape. <laughs> <laughs> so when will it begin? When will their hope begin to die? Is it time yet? Is it time? I have those lines engraved in my goddamn brain. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> uh. And this time, she it, right, I have to check it via this man. Oh, wait. 
Oh, she is in the hallway. Unfortunately, it doesn't tell me exactly where in the hallway, so we gotta look. Oh yeah, circle is dash. Very convenient. It's just one of those things I have in muscle memory, so I just remembered it immediately there. Mm -hmm. Oh, there she is. <laughs> I went the long way. <laughs> you see. Spend some time. We'll get to actually work on getting gifts later on in this story. Yeah. Uh, they're actually what the mono coins are for. Mm. So yeah, for, for the record, if you if you don't have enough points for a rank up uh, after the gift giving, it just kind of goes, okay, we hunt out for a bit. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> not even in real life. She's such a tease. Uh. <laughs> um, well, last side check, I don't think really allowed to have them. Yeah. Also that, yeah. True. Yeah. P part of it with idols is also that um, part of part of the appeal tends to be that oh, I'm available. Yeah. Which uh, yeah. That. <laughs> She's not subtle at all with this teasing. And Vakoto is just dense enough to make it not work. <laughs> <laughs> Her catchphrase. Mm -hmm. Okay. More skill points. Uh, yeah, you can only equip so many skills. Mm. It's like AP and Kingdom Hearts. Ah. And I want to say I I'm. I hope I'm remembering this right. Hold on. Yep, still more free time. Oh, wait. No, I didn't want to go. Damn it, I mashed too much. I just want to double check something. Yep. She's now maxed. That was it. <laughs> wow. Yeah. She, she's basically meant to be your tutorial for free times and a way to get some quick skills. Mm. So, with that, uh, now who do you want? So, with that, who do you want to hang out with? Oh, God. I'll take it everyone's available, right? Uh, it's only the first chapter, so yeah, there shouldn't be any plot restrictions. Hmm. Just go off of who you want to learn more about. Celeste. Alright, uh, where the hell is she? Is she just in her room? She might be. I didn't see her. That's Kyoko's room. Is oh wait, she's probably over in this area. Yep, there she is. Alright, Celeste, let's find you. Good old ultimate gambler. <laughs> 
Yeah, I just really wanted... I knew, I knew Sayaka only had, like, two hangouts, so I just wanted to max her out super quick, just so we'd have it. Mm -hmm. Over oh, there. Hold on, actually, real quick, I do... Yeah, the, 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 the store. Mm. This is actually where we use the mana coins. Via gotcha. Mm. Uh, sure, might as well, just to show what how it works in general. So... As you either interact with random objects or what, based on how well you do in trials, you'll get uh, uh, amounts of mana coins. Mm -hmm. More coin. Oh, right, I forgot. It's down as put the coin in. But yeah, um, more coins equals better chances of a new item. You can see your cha odds of getting a dupe in the lower right. Mm. Obviously, since we don't have any gifts yet, it's new. It's a freebie. Mm. Oh shit! Also, that happens sometimes. Speaking of freebies. <laughs> there we go. And we got two gifts. Pretty simple, right? Mm -hmm. Now, I do. N I did not think to look up everyone's like and dislike chart. I did not. <laughs> that was my bad. Uh, I can. I can always just Google her their likes and dislikes though. Um, yeah. Probably later. Mm -hmm. It's not like it's uh, too big of a deal right now. Yeah. There is nothing to be done. All right. Let's see if she. Let's see if she actually likes uh, either of these. Uh, the kitten hair clip, maybe. But what was the other thing again? Like some bow and arrow. Either that or a harpoon. Oh, oh there it is. Meteorite arrowhead. <laughs> I... Oh, I want to double check the... Yeah, Discovering ancient ruins... Power of sea demons. I feel like, if anything, that'll be a hero thing. Yeah. I'll just give her the cat ear clip. Or hair clip. Why did I say ear clip? Why would you... My brain sometimes. No, thank you. Okay, that was a dislike. Oh, wait, no, that was an all right. Never mind, that was just her being, uh, stubborn. Right. Hmm. The gambling strat. Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, yeah, I get fucked. <laughs> Cries. <laughs> Is that okay? Well, <laughs> I hope you are well. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, like, before the combo of budget and uh and um you know it, it, uh the, the, the covid bit hit hit us uh, at around uh, new year's mm -hmm. which still sucks that that ruined those plans um one, one thing we were planning out as a possibility was all of us heading to uh, v uh vegas just for a new year's thing which would have been fun Mm. And if there's one game I wouldn't have minded try, uh, trying out for real, it would have been Blackjack. I like Blackjack. Yeah. Because there's some strategy with that one. Mm -hmm. And it's really just you against the dealer in that. Yeah, the, the one memory I do have from when we did go to Vegas as a family trip thing once, when I was basically too young to really gamble reliably, mm -hmm. me and my brother just pumping like 20 bucks into Time Crisis. <laughs> we almost beat it. We love time. We like Time Crisis a lot. We were not good at it. Yeah. Officially, 
Oh yeah, I did skip the free time event tutorial, but that even that nudges you towards hanging out with Saika first. Mm. Like it's final little text box says, I believe Saika's free. <laughs> or something along those lines. Yeah. Yeah, th these happen almost every night time, if you can tell. I need an immediate fast asking pick me up. I messed up the pronunciation of that a little bit. Mm. At least I slurred it. Yeah, well. If it doesn't act now, it's the same as giving in to regret. What do you think guys the world? Speed, of course. Who are you, Sonic? I, I, I wonder if Monica also thinks that about meth. <laughs> We had two completely different minds on the joke there. <laughs> That's why Formula One drivers are so popular. Any idiot can accomplish something if they take it slow. Even a human piece of excrement could create a masterpiece if they spent their entire life on it. Someone who does things in a timely fashion is both wise and admirable. Straight is better than a curve or an angle. Freestyle is better than the backstroke or breaststroke. Maybe on that last one, I'm the one. Well, I'm not a swimmer, so I can't Let's talk about that. Um, um, that last one's very subjective. Mm-hmm. Which is why I said I need that back <laughs> <laughs> uh. Time for plot. Um, and I think we'll save that plot for next time. Because free time that was a good block for that. Yeah. So yeah. With all of that said, this has been the Triforce of Doom. And Drake Razorfang. Peace out. <laughs>